We're driving by and I saw these crystal blue eyes sitting behind a cage outside of this pet smart. And I told her, stop the car. So we went and got him. The, uh, the place that had him was just a rescue, someplace who knows where. Uh, they, they named him Booger Red. I'm like, seriously, come on, no. So my stepson at the time said, he looks like a Rusty. So we named him Rusty. And his first nickname evolved from, well, his, his name, Rusty, to Rusty Bucket, like a bucket that's rusty. That didn't go over too well. So then we started calling him just Bucket. Then I came up with Pupperton, which evolved into Papa, and it had to be more formal, so it was Mr. Papa or Pup Pup. So he's got He's got countless names, but those are the main ones. It's Mr. Papa, Rusty Boy, or Papa. It does not have the ability to stand or actually get up much on his own. His back legs and his joints, his hips have started to really diminish pretty significantly. Um, he's had some type of neurological issue, I would say, most of his life. Nothing major, but he's had kind of twitches. I'm sure he's had a few seizures. I've come home where he's, he's kind of been a little bit off mentally. Um, recently, though, he, he came down with something called vestibular disease, which is an inner or middle ear infection, which causes the, the brain um, and the neurological system to just kind of go haywire. Um, and as you can see, he's, he's a big fan of just laying down now. Um, the energy he once had about running and jumping and rolling over and just being a freak of nature, that's, that's subsided. He pretty much lays down and sleeps now. And a lot of times I'll have to physically pick him up um, in the middle of the night to let him go outside or just to get a drink of water. But um, he still has an appetite. He eats like a horse. He's very motivated by food as he always has been. But again, it's just as, as life happens, we all get older and the body just doesn't function the way it once did. So it's, like I said, a pretty, pretty steady decline in terms of what he once was as this big, robust, um, you know, just freak of nature who could jump and run and do all kinds of things dogs do to now just being a boy who likes to lay down and sleep and get pets so that's that's kind of the situation we're in but it's, it's hard because he's been my kid you know he's my he's been my ride or die buddy for 16 years and has been with me every step of the way through the moves through breakups through deaths of my own close family members such as my dad um, and other friends but he's been here so it's just it's been a blessing a godsend that he's been with me this long it just hurts to see that he's he's in a position now where he just physically can't do the things he once did.